Dan Perkins, the Jasper County, Indiana Cover Crop Guy. It's April 4th. We're in a field that will be his sweet corn production. So we had oats and ra just oats and radish here seeded September 1st and uh, harrowed in and then cereal rye and radish. So he's going to put his early sweet corn here, this plot planted, and then the cereal rye is going to be where he'll put his later planted sweet corn. And this is a first time cover crop user. And so uh, what I wanted to show here is just, you know, you've got some black sands and then yellow sands underneath. Kind of like we've been seeing in soil pits all day. You know, here we are 20, 22 inches and down in our yellow sand. I don't know if you can see it, these lines of darker area where the cover crop root has gone and will create the path of least resistance to the sweet corn crop for water and nutrients and also just building the soil. Um, this grower also injected manure soon um, along with his cover crop so these radishes were able to uptake that manure and hold it um, and this cereal rye well as well is a good nitrogen scavenger and so um, what we actually got for depths, um, we had cereal rye at 28 inches, 27 inches down here into the pit. And um, you can see that there. And that's, that's now this spring hanging onto the nitrogen release from the radish. So it kind of got a one two whammy. And this grower wants to hang onto the nitrogen and build up soil. And they're they're hoping they're doing that by having these living roots. Here it is April fourth, and they're working for us right now. Um, and here's this radish. It's stu still decomposing, um, and it's kind of like sponge, soft sponge now. And it's here's some of those radish roots right here, enabling us to hang on to our nutrients and being responsible farmers, especially in sweet corn which is hard on the soil, and also with manure, being responsible with that. Dan Perkins, Cover Crop Guy.